Welcome to Little Ian Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we're going to do a really fun new project. Uh, we're going to be working with pop sockets. These are just really um, simple, fun little things that can turn into absolutely gorgeous pieces of art that you can give as little gifts to your friends and family or sell in your little shops. Um, we're going to be using the Little Ian Rose molding epoxy. You can see it's part A and B. It's a mixture ratio of three to one. We have a long stir stick. We have our small little kitchen scale, a small little cup to measure the epoxy in, and we have our mold. You can also see along the outside edges is we have a bunch of different little charms and little goodies that we're going to be sticking down inside of these molds to make fun, different, unique uh, foam pops. Uh, so what we're going to first do, you yep, see here, we got, um, all the different gear shafts to make some steampunk designs. It's going to be really, really fun. We've also got some flowers, um, in that are dried flowers. These are all in our available in our Amazon shop and, uh, they come in all different colors and shapes and sizes in one pack. So that's a really, really fun, unique little thing. Um, so we're going to just jump right in. So we got, um, our epoxy, we are going to place it on our scale. And again, it's a three to one mix ratio. So we are going to put in three parts, part A, and get that poured out onto the kitchen scale. Um, it's a, it's a much thinner epoxy to our, uh, tumbler epoxy. You'll find that it is, uh, really, really wonderful for molds and beautiful. It's, it's basically bubble free and it works beautiful from getting into all the little nooks and crannies of all the different molds that you can use it in and, uh, use it for. So we're just getting part A here mixed up properly, uh, poured out properly. Then we're going to mix, um, it's a three to one mix ratio. So we mixed, uh, three parts A, and now we're going to add our three parts B. Or one, one part B. Again, these are just fun little items. You can add anything you want. I'm using dried flowers and little charms, but really you can add dice, you can add little goodies, you can actually add other little UV resin charms that you may have made. Um, just any fun little things, Legos, um, any kind of fun little things into these types of little pop socket uh, charms as you wish, whatever, whatever floats your boats. Um, we're going to stick this down in the Lillian Rose epoxy mixer. We're going to prop it up because again, we are mixing a big batch of epoxy here. We're going to prop it up with, well, we got a little mold over here. We're just going to use as a prop and prop this up with, a, so that it circulates properly. As you see, we stuck the little orange prop underneath there and we stuck the pin down inside there. Now this is the Lillian Rose mixing a, a epoxy mixer. Um, we're going to get it turned on here and it's going to start rotating. That pin in the middle is going to go around in circles and it's going to mix up that epoxy with virtually no bubbles. Now, if you have purchased the epoxy mixer from us and you s don't see the pin moving, uh, don't fret. It is okay. The pin does not need to actually go around in circles or move um, in the cup for the epoxy to mix. Um, it will mix properly regardless of that pin mixing. Um, if you do have a colder environment, maybe warm your epoxy up just a touch in a warm water bath. Um, and that way it's a, a little bit looser and easier to mix. Uh, but right now we're just kind of putting together a couple little ideas of things that we might want to put in down inside these uh, molds, uh, a few little charms here, a little few, few little gears, um, and just getting an idea laid out so that when we get the poxy poured out and ready in the mold, we're not caught off guard by having to move very quickly. We already have an idea of what we want to work with. So we're just kind of setting together little groupings of different, uh, steampunk gears. Again, these will all be listed in our Amazon store be below the tutorial. Um, they're re relatively inexpensive. You get a big old bag of the charms. Um, the steampunk gears 
uh, came in one bag and the, the lock and keys came in another and the flowers came in a third one as well. Altogether, um, I believe they would be under $30 for the three sets to combined together and you can make quite a few of these fun little foam pops. And so they would be, they're a great addition to your Etsy shop. Um, so we are just having a lot of fun. You can see that epoxy is there just moving, rotating. It's actually clear and bubble free. Um, it's pretty cool. You can walk through and see it and see how that epoxy just stays so clear. Um, and you can see that you will have no issues uh, with bubbles coming into your molds when you start pouring it into your molds. So now we're at the stage where the epoxy is fully mixed and we're going to fill these molds up about one third of the way. Um, we don't want to overfill. This is just this first stage where we're going to get the gears and fun little keys and things set into them. So we don't want to overfill at this stage. So this is just filling these little um, disc molds up to about one third of the way up um, with the molding epoxy. I'm not anticipating having any leftover extra epoxy. Um, I can just keep going and filling up all the molds until I run out. You can see the very last one is gonna take every little drip and we will have a full amount of epoxy, a full amount of charms for the epoxy and into the mold. We have five mold circles left that are unopened, but that's okay. We are just going to go ahead and make 10. And you can see I'm just using the weeding tweezers to drop, carefully drop each little item into the epoxy. Careful not to make contact with my skin. Uh, just in case you have an allergy, it's just better to be safe than sorry. Um, I know that I'm not allergic. Our um, resin that we work with that Lillian Rose has developed is an FDA compliant um, and a low VOC resin but um, I still wear my gloves for safety and work with a respirator on while I'm working with this because it does ev emit just a small amount of fumes and you wanna be very careful, not in just in case you have an allergic reaction. So this is personal preference, really how you want them to be laid in there. Um, and you just kind of pick and choose and what items you want. Um, like you saw before, I was kind of laying them out to pre have them set for me, um, ready to go. So I kind of knew what I wanted each one to go in. And you could see right there, I had a key picked out, but it was just a little too big. So we're gonna downsize and uh, just keep having fun filling this, these up. Now we're gonna use some dried flowers. The first round we did mainly the keys and the gears. Now we're gonna whip out some of the dried flowers and start having fun with those um, and layering that into the molding epoxy as well as the gears. This is a dried rose leaf. That's, and I, sorry, this is a petal, not a leaf. And I am making sure it's fully submerged underneath that epoxy. And I'm basically just gonna back those keys up completely with the rose petal and make sure it's submerged all the way underneath the resin. Um, in between each dip into the resin with my weeding tweezers, I am wiping my tweezers off on a baby wipe off camera um, just to make sure they stay nice and clean. And I don't want to contaminate the roses, uh, petals that are inside the bag and get them all stuck together with the resin uh, for down the future. I wanna be able to use these petals over and over and over um, until the end. I don't want to waste any product. So you can see here, I'm just starting to add a little bit of purple flowers and just really starting to play and have fun.
these are again these are all dried flowers i'm not working with any fresh flowers in this instance these are all dried flowers and can be found in our amazon store if you don't have access to dried flowers where you are and i'm making sure that they're thoroughly covered at least coated if not covered they might pop they might eventually pop back up out of the epoxy which is okay because we're going to add more epoxy down the road we're just going to let this cure up overnight um, so you can see that i've pushed them all the way down in so that they get covered um, that's what you really want to do is make sure they're at least sealed into the epoxy um, tomorrow when the epoxy this rounded epoxy has cured up we're going to add another layer of epoxy and here you can see i'm putting in some pretty little white jasmine bits um, into this little round of epoxy with the keys um, but we're going to make sure that tomorrow these will get a full layer over the top of this and we're going to be working with alcohol inks and stuff and you're just about to see some of that um, but right now this is just a few little bits of the jasmine going in um, really I'm just having a lot of fun uh, creating these and I'm kind of in my mind thinking of the different people I'm making these for as I go along
All right, so now we've got the flowers and the keys and the gears all in the mold. And we're gonna start adding our fun little background accents. And what I mean by this is we're gonna start dripping in our alcohol inks. Um, I am kind of mixing and matching and playing with colors. Um, I'm gonna be putting in some pinks and some blues and some purples. I'm gonna be using a lot of white to really make those colors pop. And I'm gonna be adding a lot of metallics such as golds and playing with all the colors. Um, just to have a really fun backing to these and give them a lot of depth and character. You can see as I am adding these drips and drops of the colors, how they mutate and just kind of change with each color being added. And it's really fun to watch um, just as you just drop one color into another and have a lot of fun with them. Um, it's just, this is where you get to just let your creativity flow. And like I said, it's a fun project. Like you can see here, I'm adding the green and the white, they mix together and the, the tendrils that come out from them and they kind of swirl around together. And we're just adding a little bit of that flamingo color in there just to really play with this one and have fun. Um, but if, this is where you get to just have a lot of creativity and just enjoy your time spending spending your time just letting your creative juices flow and have fun making a fun little project that will probably be very successful in your Etsy shop or um, with your online store.
All right, it is day two. We've added all of our fun colors. You can see that some of them I backed in gold. We added some blacks. We had a lot of fun. We played and did a little, little here and a little there. We are now mixing the second round of molding epoxy in the three to one mixture. Um, again, this is the molding epoxy, not the pouring art resin. Um, this is a nice thin viscosity and we are gonna add a second layer of this. We're gonna just play with some of the inks again and then we, you guys, as we go along, you will see that as these transform, it just gets more and more and more fun. So we are going to mix this batch up and we're going to start pouring it on behind it. We're going to leave a, just, a, just a touch shy from the lip of the edge of the mold when we pour this in. Uh, we don't want them completely full because when we add the pop socket, um, we don't want it um, to be to overfill the mold. We want it to just be perfectly to the edge. So we're being, I'm carefully just adding that epoxy to come to, right to the edge, but not overfill. And now we're just adding our second round of alcohol inks behind the first um, so that it again adds more depth, more texture, and a lot of fun to these. We're adding just the last few details to these uh, epoxies and you want to let them sit for about four hours before you go ahead and start adding your pop sockets. Now here you can see it's been about four hours. Before you add your pop sockets, you want to score them with an X-Acto knife or scratch them with a sandpaper and that way it will really grip onto that epoxy and give you a really solid bond. And here it's been overnight. These have sat and they're ready to take out of the mold. Oh man, they are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm in heaven. This has been one of my favorite projects to do for you guys. I've been looking forward to doing for this one for you. Um, I've never had a pop socket on my phone and now I can say it was a really hard choice for me to decide which one to put on my phone. Thank you guys. I had a lot of fun and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.